now back by popular demand. Uh, I have pulled Corrine out of the northern woods of Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's I'm joke. back. So here. that we could record a video that was requested by our darling students. Hooray! So we are going to look at joints in these videos because it's something we just didn't really record before. So again, if you guys have suggestions or things we didn't do you think you should do, you send me an email. Yeah. yeah. And I then I will pull Corrine out of retirement. I will bribe her with food and beverage and make her record with us. Good time. Yeah, she likes it. I do. Don't let her pretend. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to look at the three different categories of the structural classifications of joints, starting with the fibrous and the cartilaginous. So, fibrous joints are held together by fibers. Fibers. That's what they're called, right? So, fibrous joints are going to connect two bones, holding them close together with a fiber. Now, in general, these are not very movable, right? No. They're really structural kind of joints, but two joints, two bones are coming together. So we still call it a joint. And we're going to start with what we're looking at right now. A suture. Remember those from the bones? Corrine and I talked about those earlier in your oh, videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So sagittal suture is the one we're looking straight down at, really. Yes, that one. And then the lamboid kind of at the back, where these two bones are coming together. So these are going to hold your cranial bones together. So again, suture. That's what it's called. It's called a suture. Now we are going to look at the arm. So I need to angle up a little bit, apparently. Angling up at Norman. This is Norman. Norman. He's Herman's brother. evil evil brother. Evil I've decided brother. after filming today, he's not my friend. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Norman has a band wrapped around his radius and his ulna. Okay, so in this position, he's an anatomical position. So the radius is on the lateral side and the ulna is on the medial side. And he has a little black rubber band. <laughs> Banded. He's banded. He's banded. That is representing the fiber that holds these bones together. Um, and this is going to interact with a couple other joints we talk about in the next couple videos that are synovial that allow for him to go through supination <laughs> and pronation. She laughs at me, but I love to do it. Sup anatomy class. <laughs> Pro, so pro is going backwards. You can see how the radius and ulna move. They crisscross. So this band is very important to hold them consistent. Now the third type of fibrous joint is called a gomphosis joint. Gomphosis joints are found specifically at the tooth. So if we look back at that skull, you can see the maxilla and the mandible have tons of teeth. Each tooth is considered a gomphosis joint because a fiber called the periodontal ligament holds the tooth in the alveolar socket of the bone. Now we have one extremely gigantic, funny looking model. Oh, whoa, he, it got taller, I wow. think. Okay, all right. So this is a gigantic cutout of the mandible where you can see each tooth sitting inside of its socket. Again, this is a gomphosis that is held in by a fiber that is going to keep your teeth from falling out, hopefully. Right? Yes. Now, we need to talk about cartilaginous joints. Oh boy. A cartilaginous joint is going to be held together by? Cartilage. Cartilage. Now, ha, we've got three different types of cartilage, right? It's, right. right. Elastic. Elastic, it's, which is found where? In the ear, which we do not have on. Yeah, the Norman doesn't have an ear. The And the epiglottis, which you talk about in 245. We also have? Hyaline. hyaline cartilage and? Fibrocartilage. Fibrocartilage. So we're going to talk hyaline cartilage first because, well, wouldn't your body be funny if it was made of elastic cartilage? <laughs> it would be very You'd be ringy. bouncy. Very, very bouncy. So in order to find hyaline cartilage, which is basically located all over the body at the ends of the long bones, especially when we talk about synovial joints, we have a whole slew of it right here on the skeleton, which is in costal cartilage. So costal cartilage is the cartilage, again, hyaline, that is going to hold the ribs to the sternum. Now, the cartilaginous joint here is specifically only at rib number one. So where the sternum is attached to rib number one, which you see like underneath the clavicle there um, that is going to be considered a cartilaginous joint and it is very specifically a synchondrosis so that's the example of our synchondrosis now then we also have symphysis joints symphysis joints are made of fibrocartilage the fibrocartilage examples we have here one is between the two pubic bones on the coxal bone which is the pubic symphysis that's fibrocartilage and each of the discs between the vertebrae in our vertebral column are also going to be made of fibrocartilage, therefore are going to be considered symphysis joints. 
Yeah. Are they musical, like a symphony? I don't think oh, so. Oh, bad. If my back sang, <laughs> I might have bigger Wouldn't problems. Wouldn't life be interesting? <laughs> Symphysis.